Hi, my name's Al Swettenham. Welcome to this Groove 3 series on Wobble 2.0 Explained. SonyVox Wobble is a virtual instrument software synthesizer. It's primarily aimed at people producing contemporary urban genres like grime and dubstep. But it's also just a really versatile and powerful synth which can generate timbres that are interesting enough and original enough to definitely uh, transcend genre boundaries. So this is really just a synth for anyone who's interested in bringing new and unique sounds to their productions in any kind of contemporary electronic music. As you can see, I'm running it in Ableton Live, which is my DAW of choice, but it's compatible with any DAW that supports VST, Audio Unit or RTAS plugins. So what I'm going to do in this first video is I'm just going to give you a little bit of an overview of Wobble's interface so you kind of know what's what and where's where. First of all, we've got this top panel here where the SonyVox logo is. On the far left, we've got a real-time level meter. So we can keep an eye on that. We can always check how hot our signal is. Over here on the far right, We've got these uh, load and save buttons and these bring up a little menu which allow us to save or load, among other things, SVX files which is Wobble's file format for presets. To the left of that we've got this little settings button. If we hit that, that'll bring up this little panel with some general settings we can change. I'm going to talk about those settings briefly at the end of this video. To the left of that we've got the MIDI Learn button and we can use that to assign knobs on our MIDI controller to control the various parameters in Wobble. And to the left of that you've got these up and down buttons which we can use to scroll through the presets in whatever folder we happen to be in at the time. <laughs> And as you can see, we've got some little uh, text here telling us the name of whatever patch we happen to be using. Down on the bottom here, this panel is also always visible. We've got a master volume knob. We've got a little slider for glide or portamento, and that basically controls the speed at which Wobble's pitch glides from the previous note played to the next one. So if we set that to quite a high amount, it takes quite a while to glide from the previous note to the next note, but if we turn that down, we get a shorter glide time. We've got a little uh, virtual keyboard section here. And we've got a little representation of our pitch wheel and modulation wheel. Over here on the right hand side, we've got these four buttons for navigating between the four different pages of our main editing window. This big space in the middle is the main editing window. This is where your focus will be for the majority of the time. And as you can see, at the moment, we're on the sound page. But we've also got the pattern page, which houses Wobble's very powerful and versatile pattern generator. We've got the effects page, which houses three lovely audio effects, a chorus, a delay, and a reverb. And we've got the browser page where we can load patches and sort them according to their attributes. So that's a little preview of Wobble's interface. That's what we're going to be getting into in this series. You might have noticed that as my mouse hovered over some of the parameters, it came up with a little dialog box. You can turn that off in the settings if you wish to, if you turn off tooltips. Another of the things we can do in settings is change the sample content directory. I'd leave that be unless you know what you're doing. Basically, all the patches in Wobble are based on samples. And if you're going to change the sample content directory to a different folder, then you've got to make sure that all the samples that come with Wobble are located in that folder. Otherwise, none of the patches will work because it won't be able to locate any of the samples. We've got a button here to rebuild the browser database and that's for 
If you put another SVX file into your presets folder and you want it to show up here in the browser, you have to click this Rebuild Browser Database button. We've also got a polyphony control here. That controls the amount of voices that Wobble can play at any given time. So the higher you put the polyphony, the more notes you can hold down at once. But it will also make your computer have to work harder. So if you're struggling with CPU issues, one of the things you might do is try turning the polyphony settings down a bit. Finally, we've got this pattern dialog button. And what that does is turns on or off a little dialog box that pops up in the pattern window every time you turn the pattern generator on. See, when we turn it on, we get this little dialog box warning us that the sound is going to be different. But we can disable that here in the settings window. We just turn it off there. So that's Wobble. If it looks intimidating, then don't worry, because we're going to cover all of this in great detail, starting with the browser section in the very next video. So I'll see you in a bit.